subscribe and ring the bell to never miss an update. Hello everyone. Today on Lady Mary Bath, we are popping into some of our favorite resale shops in search of classic white dishes. It's a great way to refresh and renew your tabletop collection. And I will also shop my home and share a timeless table setting with you. Join me. It's always a great day at Still Good Consignment. I like to shop their website at stillgood.com and that way I can pinpoint a certain area if I'm looking for water for crystal or a type of jewelry brand, handbags, and it is for local pickup only. You can furnish your home from top to bottom. They have lots of tabletop, decor, great gifts as well. And there's always something fun to discover here. And you forget that it's a consignment store. It's almost like a high-end retail. I'm looking for three things today. White dishes, creamware, and milk glass. Any of these would be a perfect tabletop essential to build and add as you segue into many seasons to come. And it's sort of like the little black dress. You can accessorize it, dress it up or down, and it's always ready for a party. Let's take a look at some great dishes. The Great Wall of China awaits. There's just so much to discover here and a pattern for every style and taste. Of course, with all the tabletop accessories that you could imagine. And you can certainly mix patterns. This is a lovely one here. We'll take a look at that again in a second. And I just can't get enough of these dishes. You may find a familiar set that you can add to, or maybe something you've seen in a retail store. Homer Laughlin China is definitely creamware, and this has a lovely magnolia pattern. It is considered to be in the Georgian collection because it has the embellishment around the rim. I had a sugar bowl in this pattern that I purchased at the Heights antique store. And unfortunately my cats have recently broken it. Maybe I should consider this set and lots of beverage options, those wonderful ruby ice beverages. And they do have Waterford Crystal as well, and those stems are on the other side of the store. And look at this pop of color that would really brighten up a white dish set. And their glasses are quite affordable. We found the perfect example of creamware. This is made by the Wedgwood Company. In the mid 1700s, Josiah Wedgwood perfected the art of creamware. And Her Majesty, Queen Charlotte, Queen Consort of George III, placed a large order, became popular in the English courts amongst the nobility. And she allowed him to be known as Potter to Her Majesty, a royal warrant, and he changed the name to Queensware in her honor. And I've seen the Queen's wear also with some color. And this, I think, is a lot more versatile and a vast collection. You really don't see this too often. Starting out at $9.95 has gone down to $8.95. And I have a feeling that this set will go rather quickly, especially since it's complete with serving pieces and the teacups. Just beautiful. And just because it's all solid cream doesn't mean that it's boring. You could certainly use it as is, and you could add linens and beverage glasses that maybe add a pop of color. And this is a beautiful raised relief pattern that is a classic and quite a vast collection. And I encourage you to join our group page on Facebook. It's called Lady Mary Beth's Table. And then you could showcase your creamware and you never know what connections you'll make. Friendships have formed and also dishes are brought together. One viewer was looking for the Queensware in blue and a friend of a friend had reached out to me privately wanting to sell some pieces. So I was able to make that connection for them. 
This Noritake set is a steal at $215. 37 pieces, including eight dinners, eight salads, and serving pieces. And this is a classic look that you could certainly take many different directions. And I love that you also have the teacups and saucers. This is more of a traditional coffee cup, but of course you can use it for either. And what a great price. You have a far better variety and selection with dishware when you're shopping the secondary market. And here you can purchase the entire set and walk away and entertain immediately. For under $200, you get all these pieces the beautiful Noritake in the Countess pattern. And if you've shopped a box store, department store, you realize that it starts about 125 a place setting for any kind of fine china. Even everyday dishes are getting expensive. And here you just have the best deal in town. Franciscan, this is a company out of California and they did make fine china at one point. The Gladding McBean and Company in the Huntington pattern with a gorgeous back stamp. Now let's walk to the other side of the store for something light and bright. And I will tell you that I shopped the website before I came in today, looking for Waterford Crystal. And to my great surprise, a pair of buffet lamps suddenly appeared on the website had not noticed this before and things do sell rather quickly waterford as you know has discontinued their lighting wear division and this is a great opportunity to find some treasures in that category look at the detail it's almost like the florence court lamp in the style of the base always look at the shade make sure it's in good condition but of course you could easily replace that 780 was the original retail for the pair, under $400 for two Waterford lamps. And of course, that was the last retail. It doesn't mean that that would have been the cost today. I'm sure it would be higher. This is a real bargain. Now let's get back to the beverage glasses. I see some mid-century margarita glasses. The ebony base is quite interesting. And it's always great to add a pop of color, and especially when you can add a mid-century element that is quite popular today. This is a rare find. Aren't those fantastic, the lava glasses? You've probably seen the Franciscan Ivy, Desert Rose, Apple, and other patterns, but they also made fine china. And this is a great example of that platinum rim that was popular in the 60s and 70s. It is the Huntington pattern, and it is a fine china and quite a lovely and elegant neutral for your refresh and restart. And so many different colors would look great with this. Imagine a pink glass plate on top, to maybe serve a salad before the main meal. You could add red for certain seasons, even a trendy design element on your table. This to me is as versatile as solid white dishes. It's such an elegant look. You notice the back stamp is a bit different because it was probably made a few years later. And serving pieces are often more expensive than the place settings. This is a real deal to have the oval open vegetable. A fun tidbit about the Franciscan Masterpiece China is that Air Force One traditionally had the creamware with gold. And when LBJ took over as president, he had everything removed and his presidential seal was with the platinum band. And I actually do have JFK's teacup from Air Force One with the gold band, and it is priceless. And my JFK teacup from Air Force One has been authenticated by the estate of Raleigh Degeer Amex. This is also a versatile pattern, and you can tell by the shape and even the gold rim that it is from Bavaria. German China manufacturers have that certain quality and style. And for under $500, you could have 102 pieces to this set. And the best part is you didn't have to hand carry it back from Germany. That is a real bargain. Another great reason to shop your local consignment is that you find some great dishes at a steal. This is from Bavaria. It is a covered vegetable and it is backstamped Western Germany, which dates it to the 50s and 60s. Later, it was West Germany that you would see as a marking. And so many pieces here in this collection, $525 for 102 pieces. A classic look. 
Entertaining sure has evolved over time. And even though this wasn't too long ago, individual butter pats in the matching china pattern. One more reason to shop the secondary market and you have a better variety as well within a pattern. And it is a graceful look, such detail even at the base of that teacup. This is something you do not find as much today. And what a lovely addition this would be to your tabletop collection. Now we're going to look at another part of the store. It's not all about the dishes today. Silver spoons. What a complete collection. This was probably coveted by a bride. $48 and it's from the UK. Let's take a closer look at this. And inside the satin line box, we have the jeweler stamp and the hallmark, of course, is always on silver plated items or sterling. These happen to be silver plate. Perfect for tea time and the sugar nips or sugar tongs. I wonder how often these would have been used. I'm sure coveted by the lady of the house. And look at that scallop design. These are such a find. I just can't believe the price. Absolutely amazing. And so purposeful too. You could use these for anything. Here's a look at the handle. And even the backside is with embellishment. You would certainly want to hand wash these. Perfect for tea time. And there is the hallmark that can be researched, of course, online to find out more about that manufacturer. And Wedgwood, that's a nice segue, keeping it in England. This is a pattern I have not seen before. And that gray is quite a neutral. I think that would work very well for any look. You could add a pop of color to that. And it's got some gold embellishment as well. $485, but look, it's been there a while. It's gone down to $339.50. It's called Wild Oats. It even comes with a cigarette box and ashtrays. Of course, that cover box could be used for anything on your table. Beautiful Wedgwood made in England back stamp. Here's a look at those ashtrays. Of course, you could use that for a tea bag on the table. Don't be shy about bringing that out. And that's when you know it's definitely an old pattern. And you see the red mark, that's the pattern number. And that was used as a reference within Wedgwood. And the sugar bowl, that's really sweet. I like this pattern and I wish that I had space for it. Let's have a look at the GG Collection, which stands for Gracious Goods. It's a company out of Kansas, and they offer oversized everything. Canisters, plates, chargers, sugar and creamer. The largest private collection of GG that I've seen was at Trace Atkins' home. He's a country music star, and I shopped his estate sale. For under $50, that's not bad because they retail for about $150. Here is an all-purpose creamware oval open vegetable for $17.50. Let's take a look at that back stamp. Ralph Lauren for Wedgwood in the clear pattern. This is a lovely piece. Do you see any similarities between this and Queensware? Beautiful. And think of all the different mixing that could go on with the various patterns. Lots of possibility. You can even take home the dining table. You could spend all day in the dish section. And that's why I like to preview online because then you can really get a good overview before you pop into the store. And of course, Linux and the Opal Innocence. This is a newer pattern that looks very much like a bridal registry, classic look that you could segue into the seasons with that platinum rim. And you'll notice that it is creamware on white, which makes it extra special. With the salt and pepper. This probably was a bridal pattern. Now we're going to visit Team Resale Shop in Tomball. 
on the hunt for more white dishes. Let's come on in and see what they have for us. I found some wonderful things here over the years and it definitely benefits charity. Just a great shop and you need to pop in often because you just don't know what you'll find, including Wedgwood. Look at that, also with a raised relief. Lots of detail in this cup and a different back stamp. How about that? And you can always add to it if you feel like it's not the complete set or perhaps you already have this pattern and you'll be delighted to add some more pieces. This is also Wedgwood Hedge Rose. Coordinates nicely with the other. And that would be a classic white plate. You could dress up or down. And it's $7 a plate. They sometimes have half price on housewares, so you'll want to follow them for the deals. And a white Wedgwood pattern I've not actually seen before. It is Hedge Rose. It is embossed with a flower band, and it does have an old back stamp. These are going for $29, replacements limited, and this is $7 today. And they do have some other pieces, including a serving dish. And that would be a great way to start your white dish pattern. It's fun to mix the white and or creamware, and you will notice that the manufacturers tend to have a certain shade of white, even if it's the same material, porcelain, for example. Villeray and Bach has several white patterns, and you'll notice that they really flow nicely together, but when you have different manufacturers, you see quite a difference. One might even have more of a gray tone. And here is Mikasa in the Ultima pattern. That mug would go with anything. You can even make that a great gift. And Milk Glass, of course, that's a different material. And you'll see that it's even lighter and brighter in one than another. Some great tabletop essentials here today, too. I'm liking this picture. And stay tuned because you might see this a little bit later in the segment. From the Indiana Glass Company, we have the Harvest Grape Pattern. It is a wonderful addition to your table and would also make a great gift. I like to tie ribbons around the handle of a pitcher if I'm hosting a party or celebration to tie in with a the theme, and at $15 would make a fantastic gift. And you'll notice even a difference in the milk glass as we've talked about in previous segments. There is the dead white, which is the solid white, right and then there is the one that's quite opaque twelve dollars for that oh there's the matching vase to that picture and that classic pattern and punch cups lots of uses for these and think of all the celebrations and different colors you could add really like the versatility of milk glass Punch cups are also a nice addition to your tabletop, and this is that harvest grape pattern. This is more of a fluted one with the hooks, so that fits on the side of a punch bowl, and you could simply place this on a dinner plate or luncheon for chicken salad, for any type of dessert, maybe even fit a cupcake inside. Always a good find. There are also many affordable lines of china that were produced in the early 60s to 80s, and some of these took their inspiration from English or German manufacturers, including Linux American as well. $5 for this teacup. It is Style House Fine China made in Japan. And the matching saucer is $1. And if you're creating a collection for children's tea, this would be a great option. Or if you're just selecting one for a gift when you're adding it to maybe some tea or tea towels, something fun for a friend. Here's the Gibson China. This is a brand that was very affordable, made in China. And from Mikasa, we have a classic look. The gold wedding band. I actually have some of this pattern that was at an estate sale and it was just too good to pass up. And I do bring that out sometimes for parties. Quite a nice look. And in the back, you'll see an ironstone terrine. And I see possibilities with this. It could be a planter, you could use it as a centerpiece. 
and it's definitely a great vessel. In fact, I don't think it has room for a spoon, so it's not exactly a terrine. Marked down to $12. Let's take a look at the back stamp and see what information we can find out. Zavoir Vivre Maison Blanche. It sounds fancy. It's made in Thailand. It's oven to table, which is great because you could bake in it and not worry about having to transfer a dish. Select vintage, 50% off. Another great opportunity to build a tabletop collection. This has a Linux tuxedo look about it. Royalty, gold china made in Japan. And they frequently will have a sale in the vintage section as well. When you can get half price, you definitely want to pop in. So follow them on social media. Find out the latest sales. A set of six teacups and saucers for a total of $18. That is a great opportunity to build your tea collection. You could easily add these to maybe some glass plates. Red would go with any season or for the spring, pink depression glass. Of course, you could mix it with your everyday pattern as well. Absolutely love this. I'm on the other side of the store now, and I happen to notice something that seems a bit familiar, too good to be true. The back stamp is Empire, a silver company from New York. I have to show you one of my surprise finds as I'm standing here looking at some of these white dishes. I see a dog bowl and inside a sterling silver compote with the Gadroon border. Isn't that an incredible find? And the best part is it's $2. Definitely a good thrifting day. Just had to point out that surprise find to you. There's also a ginger jar you'll see in the background there that might appear later in this segment. We're going to go back to the housewares section where I found that wonderful sterling compote. They've got furnishings, seasonal, all kinds of home decor in this area. The dishes are beautifully arranged. And there's so many different ones. I like those hand-painted ones that look like they're from Portugal. I highly recommend shopping here for dishes. And here's more of the Macasa. It's similar to the wedding band pattern we just saw, but it's actually a bit different, you'll notice. Although it has a gold rim, this one is called gold coin. Rows and rows of plates and serving bowls. I found Villarreal and Bach here over the years in my pattern. They even have the saucers and you can use those for serving cookies, brownies. You don't have to have the matching teacups. Here's a classic gold and white. It's got a beaded border. And that bread and butter plate is from Pier 1 Imports. And perhaps you'll find one of your patterns here. This looks festive. You could even put a red teacup on that Inesco. I like to see all the different pieces they have here in different manufacturers. West Elm, which is a high-end store, and even some melamine. And there are different qualities within this line too. For $1, and a more modern look. You'll notice the inside of that plate, I would not recommend it. Lots of knife marks. And it's because it is not a good brand. Mainstays, that's from Walmart. Not a good investment. You certainly wanna stay away from that. All the more reason to shop the secondary market for some better brands. This is a familiar look. It is Mikasa, French countryside. I know some of you collect this pattern. It is stoneware. It's user-friendly, of course, dishwasher, microwave safe. It's a lovely oversized platter. And white dishes are not necessarily created alike. With this Macasa French countryside, you will see that it has a bit more gray in it compared to this Pottery Barn Emma. I'll give you an up-close look at that. And you certainly can mix the two. I just wanted to point out that there are some slight differences. And of course, white mugs would go with everything as well. And I like that they have so many different manufacturers. It may not be a complete set, but you could certainly use individual pieces for gifting. And the square plates 
are very popular, but I think that's a bit trendy and I would probably go with more of a classic look. Unless of course you can acquire these affordably and just have maybe four or six plates for every day. And this is made in Japan. That's definitely an older sticker on that bowl, $6. And our favorite milk glass for $1. And we might find the teacups somewhere in the store. And if not, that's a great cookie plate. I use my saucers for so many purposes. This is a bread and butter plate. It's $2. And that could be for an individual cupcake on a doily when you're presenting that to a friend. It's nice that you can buy them individually. You don't have to buy the entire set or stack of plates. This is a beaded look. It's almost a petal shape. Let's see if we can find the manufacturer on that plate. I like the look. It's almost a French pearl. And it's from Pottery Barn. This is an iron stone. I think this will sell quickly. $3, there's a line through it, so it might be half price. Johnson Brothers. That is a company owned by Wedgwood. Of course, made in England. And that classic white pitcher. Even the colorful ones would be a great addition to your white dishes. But this is more all purpose. And it is Corningware. I did not expect that. I think of Corningware as mostly glass plates. This one is quite the modern look. And here's that contrast with the colors. You may not think of melamine when you're out thrifting and looking for your classic white, but actually it is quite purposeful if you entertain poolside. And these are $1 each. There are different styles as you can see. And they do go for quite a lot on the retail market. And I think that is a bargain. We'll pop into this Goodwill store located on State Highway 249 in Tomball, Texas. We'll see if they have any classic white for us today. Goodwill sometimes has some great items. And for those of you who watched the Posh Goodwill episode, I thank you for that. It's been a very successful one and hopefully you got some great ideas. We're now in the dish section of the store and I see a few things that might be of interest. There's a beauty waiting for us here with that pearled edge, triple divided dish, lots of possibilities. This is an oversized piece and that would be a wonderful purchase today. This pearled border divided dish, I think is the find of the day here at Goodwill. It is made in Portugal, priced at $5.99 and that classic white could segue into anything, whether it's tabletop or even maybe keeping on a coffee table with maybe some things on top of it. Maybe you could even keep candy dishes, remote controls. And this, I think, is a great gift idea too. This reminds me of a Homer Laughlin. You can see that sort of off-white with the platinum rim. You can tell it's not a fine china and that it would definitely not put in the dishwasher. Let's look at the back stamp. It is Taylor Smith, definitely from that era. And the numbers there, 7391, would be a pattern. And I'm sure that that was displayed and used proudly by the lady of the house. Though they don't have a lot in the home goods and dish section, we are still able to find some great buys. This I'm thinking is from the 1980s, made in Japan. And I can see this for every day. And we have creamware. This is from the Mikasa company and it is called Avante Ivory. And a large serving bowl and platter, I think is well priced at $8.99. And of course is dishwasher safe. This is a great example of affordable creamware. Two sugars in one. This would be great for cinnamon and sugar and plain sugar. A stack of plates, I love that they have taped these together so that they're not separated. And of course we can learn a lot from the back stamp. These plates are well priced and they are from Target, Project 62 with the Target logo. I do not recommend these. If you look at all of these marks, this will not hold up and it's really not worth the money even at a resale price. I see lots of vanilla shades here. That seems to be false graph. 
And remember when you're out dish shopping, you can find lots of information by turning over the plate. It will give you the country of origin, manufacturer's name, sometimes even the pattern name, and if it's dishwasher or microwave, safe. These saucers are made in China by the Gibson Company. Even though they're not a great quality, it is still a far better purchase than the other. $3.99, it has a nice raised design on it, and saucers can be used for maybe a syrup pitcher, for serving brownies or cookies, quite versatile. I find that when I'm actually at a tea room or out at a restaurant when they have some interesting plates, it's hard to not turn it over and look at the back stamp. I wonder if you might do the same. This plate is vitrified, which means it's gone through a heat fusion process that makes it non-porous and keeps stains away. It has a back stamp of Royal Light Vienna, fully vitrified. For $1.99, I would choose this plate over any of the other dinnerware I see here at Goodwill today. It's been such fun shopping our favorite resale stores for the classic white creamware and even milk glass. There's so many possibilities and great ways to entertain and elevate your everyday. Now let's head over to my dining room and I will show you a very simple, timeless setting. I invite you to my table. I have shopped my home for classic dinnerware patterns and table accessories that segue through the seasons and are perfect for all celebrations. Let's warm up those winter whites. Now let's take a look at the place setting. I have layered it with linens, of course, that always adds some warmth and interest to your table. And my go-to affordable look is from Amazon. I will link this in the video description. Maison d'Almine table runners are designed in Europe, made in India, and that is my go-to for gifting as well. And I've started with a natural fiber placemat and topped that with Linux Largo. I found these on clearance at Bed Bath & Beyond. And the Villarimbach Neoclassical Cellini pattern. And then I have incorporated the matching napkins with a napkin ring from a viewer. Very simple, natural look for this table setting. Let's take a look at the centerpiece. Vintage milk glass is always a nice addition to your table. These ice beverages would work well for a dessert, maybe a malt, a Coke float. From the Indiana Glass Company, the Harvest Grapes pattern. And from Wedgwood, Strawberry and Vine. This is something that I found at the Charity Guild of Catholic Women for under $30. I love that creamware. And also carrying out the milk glass look with the centerpiece. This Grecian style urn I've had in my collection for some time now. And I've placed silk florals inside that I found at MAM Resale on a spring wreath. The newest edition, Villarim Bach candle holders in the Boston pattern. These are actually dual purpose. They're big and bold and you turn them over and it's actually a vase. If you had a candelabra in the center, that would work very well. This is a neutral look with our classic white. Now let's add my favorite blue with a touch of chinoiserie. See what a touch of blue can do. The inspiration is this chinoiserie table runner that I had custom made for my 50th birthday party from Spoonflower. And the place setting is anchored by the Villarimbach Verona pattern. This is a glass charger with our classic white dinnerware and a satin napkin that's also thrifted with beautiful teapot napkin rings from my friend's estate sale. And the beverage glasses are also thrifted. A double happiness ginger jar is always a great idea. This I found on half price day at Team Resale for $25. And I'm reusing those same silk florals, although this is a larger vessel. I have nestled it in a satin napkin and that carries our taupe color throughout. And these beeswax candles were $1.99 new in a box from Goodwill. And a favorite find also from Team Resale is this Indiana glass pitcher that matches our tumblers. It was $7.50. Thanks for joining me today for the dish hunt. You never know what you'll discover when you're out thrifting. White dinnerware is timeless, classic, and versatile. If there's a pattern that you enjoy in your home, I would love to hear about it. Or perhaps you have your eye on one that you would like to acquire. Thanks again for joining Lady Mary Bath. Elevate your everyday with classic white dinnerware.